The heart of a human being can change very quickly. The man sleeps at night as a believer. He wakes up in the morning as a disbeliever. That's why the Prophet ﷺ taught us to cry to Allah all the time to keep our hearts steady and firm upon the truth. Verily, Allah does neither look to your forms nor to your bodies, but He looks to your hearts and your works. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna alhamdulillah. Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu wa nasta'hdiuhu. Wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina. Wa min sayyati a'malina. Innahu man yahdihi allahu fala mudilla lah. Wa man yudlil fala hadiya lah. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika lah. وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة كل ضلالة في النار brothers and sisters in Islam our topic is about the actions of the heart the actions of the heart, this little organ that many of us neglected it completely. And we, you hardly find people, they talk about it. We hardly ask one another, how's your heart? We hardly ask one another, how's your Iman brother? This little organ in the size of one's fist, the Prophet ﷺ says that this organ, if it is whole, if it is healthy, then the rest of the organs will be the same. But if it is corrupt, then the rest will follow. So today, we want to talk about this little organ that which Allah created. And what we know about it that it is only a mechanism or a device that pumps the blood around the body, period, Philistam. But that is not the case, brothers and sisters. The name of the heart in Arabic language is called Qalb. Prophet ﷺ tells us why this little organ is called Qalb. Why we call it Qalb? He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, verily, the heart was named so because of its frequent changing. Certainly, the likeness of the heart is like a, a feather that is stuck at the root of a tree. And this feather is turned upside down when the wind blows. It's like this. This is the feather, very light. And this feather is attached to the root of a tree. The slight blow of wind turns it upside down. The heart is like that. That means the states of the heart changes. Today you love someone, tomorrow you hate him. Today you are a believer, the second day you are a disbeliever. And this will come towards the end of time. The Prophet ﷺ said, The man sleeps at night as a believer. He wakes up in the morning as a disbeliever. The heart's changing. The heart of a human being can change very quickly. That's why the Prophet ﷺ taught us to cry to Allah all the time to keep our hearts steady and firm upon the truth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says upon the tongue of Ibrahim alayhi salam Ibrahim alayhi salam said wala tukhzini yawma yub'athun yawma la yanfa'u malun wala banun illa man ata Allah bi qalbin salim Ibrahim alayhi salam has cried to Allah prayed to Allah invoked Allah O oh Allah Disgrace me not on the day you resurrect them. 
you raise them. The father of Ibrahim will be in the hellfire in the form of male hyena, transformed into a male hyena. So Ibrahim cried to Allah, O oh Allah, disgrace me not on the day you will raise them. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بنون. On the day that neither wealth nor children will be helpful. No one on that day will help you. Neither money nor your children. Your salvation is completely dependent upon your work, upon your righteousness in this life. If you didn't work hard for your salvation in the other life, you will be destined to hell. So that's why you need to work hard here in this life. إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ Then Ibrahim said, except he who turns to Allah with a pure, clean heart. Again, only those who have pure, clean, healthy hearts will prosper and succeed. Before we start mentioning and listing what are the functions or the task, or the acts, or the actions of the heart, I would like to also mention the causes behind the sickness of the heart. The hearts, they get sick. The hearts also, they get sick. Not only they get sick, they also get blind. Among these causes, number one, that makes the heart sick is sinning, sinfulness, disobeying Allah, Committing haram. If you are disobeying Allah, committing haram, don't expect yourself to have a pure heart. Don't expect yourself to have a state of peace and tranquility within yourself. You will not feel that. You will have depression, anxiety, insecurity, instead of peace. Why? Look into yourself. Ask yourself. So sinfulness is one of the root causes of the sickness of the heart. Second thing, selfishness. Being a slave for yourself. What your nafs, what yourself asks, you are a slave and servant for this nafs. You can't overcome your desires. So that's also another cause. The third cause is deserting the study circles, the ilm. When you leave the ilm, and you live in ignorance and jahal, your heart will get sick. The ilm is a cure for the heart, is a light, is light. إِنَّمَا يَخْشَى اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ Verily, the men of knowledge are the ones who fear Allah most. The men of knowledge are the ones who fear Allah most. Among also the root causes of this sickness of the heart, is love of dunya that this dunya becomes our objective we are completely complacent content happy with the dunya so what is there preoccupying our minds and makes us busy all the time is the dunya we wake up and sleep wake up and sleep thinking only about the dunya throughout the 24 hours only engaged in the dunya busy with the dunya and unaware of the real life. So that contributes to the sickness of the heart. Also, so this extreme love for the dunya contributes to the sickness and makes the heart sick. Having said this, brothers and sisters, now we'll start mentioning the actions of the heart. The Prophet ﷺ says, in Sahih Imam Muslim, verily Allah does neither look to your forms nor to your bodies, but He looks to your hearts and your works, to your hearts and your deeds. So Allah looks, He doesn't look to your skin complexion or your stature, your form, tall, short, no. Allah looks to your heart. What is there in this heart? Arrogance. Pride, jealousy, envy, all these ills. He looks to that heart. What is inside? 